Hey guys, it's Larry Greenberg, and today we're taking a look at the Musubo Retro case for the iPhone 5. This case is available in four different colors, and it sells for $39.99. Now, hopefully right away, you've taken note of the case and our drawing similarities or characteristics of a retro microphone, because that's what this case is all about. Right here, you can see kind of an old school mic, and that's what this case is meant to resemble. So let's pop it open and show you what it's all about. So again, it comes in four colors. I obviously have the silver version. Um, you don't get a screen shield in here, but what you do get is a stand. So there is a small plastic stand, which I'll show you in a second, and then instructions on how to work the stand. And basically this is a hybrid style case, so it's composed of an inner TPU layer or silicone layer, I should say, and it's kind of matte. So I'm going to put my phone into that first. And then this outer hard plastic layer, and I'm going to next click that over the silicone layer and just snap it into place like so. So right away, um, when I first put it on, it struck me and kind of reminded me of the iPhone 3GS. It's kind of rounded and it makes the phone feel um, kind of like the 3GS felt for me. That's how I drew um, characteristics when I first put it on. As far as all the ports and controls, you get a small amount of lay on the table protection because this lip does come up up onto or even to the glass. If you're using a tempered glass screen shield, that's gonna be diminished just a little bit. On the bottom, we've got some individual cutouts for the speaker, the mic, the headset jack, and the lightning port connector there. On the side, the buttons for the volume up and down give amazingly good feedback. So does the sleep awake. Uh, you've heard me say it before, but when you've got silicone like snug tight because of an outer shell, it really gives you good feedback. And then that vibrate switch is totally accessible, no problems with that. Of course, all the action with this case is on the back. So you've got a single cutout for the rear facing camera, secondary mic and flash, and then a cutout for the Apple logo. No protector there and they don't include one with the case, which is kind of a bummer. Um, I like having the Apple logo open, but I do prefer something to protect it. Uh, it is really recessed, so it's gonna be hard obviously for it to get scratched on a surface, but still things could get inside there and hit that Apple. You can always cut out some screen shield of your own, which is what I did, and just put it over the Apple logo to protect it. So the silicone like interlocked or interlaid with the uh, plastic layer forms a really nice two-tone hybrid look with the company logo down at the bottom portion of the case. This case is a little bit on the slippery side. This glossy plastic frame is a little slick, but again, you do have some TPU on the sides that you can grab onto. As far as the stand goes, to use it, you just pick one of the angles, there are three different ones, and then prop up the front piece and then place your phone inside it. You can do it in either portrait or in landscape, really doesn't matter, there's no uh, right or wrong way to do it. It is a little bit tricky to get it all set up. You kind of have to hold this front flap as you place it in there, but it works nonetheless. You can fold this thing small, put it in your gear bag or even your wallet if you wanted to, or your back pocket, should you want to carry this along. So that's been my brief look at the Musubo Retro Case for the iPhone 5, available in four different color variations for $39.99. Hit that annotation link in the upper left-hand corner to jump over to Runaround Tech and read my full review of this case. The link to where you can purchase it uh, will be in the video description as well. If you have any questions about it, you know you can drop me a line down below. Otherwise, have a great day.